Hey there, Donald. So it looks like uh, get your parts coming in. Uh, make sure that when you're coming in, instead just do a save as, pack and go, and uh, that'll save you some headaches as far as uh, attaching the right parts and getting them brought in correctly, things like that. Um, so first thing I'd uh, go is none of these are grounded. So as a good practice, make sure that one of your parts is grounded. Um, so if you go down to here, ground and root on this base one, just ground to the origin. So that'll put this part right at the base, it won't move around, and then you can constrain everything to it, so that way you don't have multiple degrees of freedom going around. Um, the issue I think you have is you have your part here and you want it to flip around and open, but you also want the back part to flip around and open as well. And then you have this little guy that is, I believe, your uh, bendable piece. So there's a couple of different things that uh, we can go through. Um, if that's the piece that you want to be bending and going through. So I'm just going to delete all your constraints out because, well, I'll show you why. This one is a face to a face, but then you have this is an edge to an edge over here, and then another edge to edge, and then you're kind of going all over the place. So we're just going to delete all these things out and start from scratch. And I'll show you why. So, and visibility up here. So now we just have our grounded part. And then we have this thing that can move, that can move, and this can move. So all of the edges or all the faces on this side are all going to be lined up. So first thing, we're just going to make those together, those together, those together, and that together. So that way that they're all going to be in line on this face. So now, so if you use the joint command, we can basically select a line like you're wanting to before, and then select this line. We'll put them together. Call it a rotational command. The other way. Now it comes down like so. Constrain. This face to here. Now you'll see that we still have degrees of freedom from that face to there. So now they're locked together. So if we come down, and I think you want this one to there, to there, uh, rotational command, So let's kind of go into that. Constrain the top of this to there, and the back of that to there. Okay. So it looks like you got this in backwards. I want to make it ninety as well.
So this shoe is on the back here. Not sure what's going on there, but I uh, hope that helps.